Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you how to set up your custom Bluehost email. Now I'll drop a link in the description where you can find out more detailed information about this and receive special discounts if you're getting a hosting plan. All right, so let's get into the video. Now, the first thing I wanna cover is why you even want a custom Bluehost email. Because, you know, you've already got an email, so what's the point of having a Bluehost one? Well, with any hosting account, at least on Bluehost.com, you're gonna receive access to a custom Bluehost email. What this essentially means is that instead of having, for example, your name at gmail.com or your name at outlook.com, you're gonna be having your name at yourwebsite.com. So let's say my website was, let's say, um, domain.com. If I have have an email at that, a custom email address for that, my email would be carson at domain.com. This is essentially what Bluehost is offering, and it's a really good service because it just makes your business and brand feel more professional. Instead of someone having to email you at an email account like Gmail, they're going to be emailing you directly at the email account for your website, which just really helps with the branding and consistency of the theme and layout you know, for your business that you're going to want, which is going to be professional and easy to access, easy to understand. So this is going to be really nice for any business that's starting out or even just your personal blog to be able to to have an email at your own domain name is really just a fantastic feeling. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Now, as you can see here, I am on my dashboard at bluehost.com. Now I'm actually gonna be covering two methods by which you can access the email creation ability. Because as we can see, we're on our Bluehost dashboard right now, but we need to access the ability to, you know, create our first email for our custom account. Now, when we are on this dashboard, you're gonna notice on the side, there is a little button that says email and office. So if you go to this page, it'll let you, you know, choose email providers, all that stuff and it'll kind of give you a bit of information on helping you set up the email. But this is actually not the way we're gonna do it. What I'm gonna do, and you'll just have to follow along step by step to make sure you're not missing anything, is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the advanced tab. Now, once this loads, as you can see, we've got on a completely different screen. What this is known as is the C panel. It's essentially the place where all your management takes place, all your stuff like images, file manager, FTPs, stuff like that, you know, PHP, SQL, all of that stuff is all on this one page. It's all accessible from here. Now this is really good because obviously once you get into, you know, website management, stuff like that, you're gonna be wanting to access all of this stuff. So go ahead and familiarize yourself with all of the different items, but that doesn't matter because the important thing right now is we're gonna be scrolling down this list until we find the little email tab. Now from here, what we're gonna do, as you can see, there's a bunch of options, but you don't have to worry about any of them at all. All you're gonna do is just go ahead and click email accounts. Now from here, it pulls up a feature that lets you create and manage email accounts. So if you want to create an email account, this is where you're going to be creating and managing them and linking them up to your email if you need. There are a bunch of fun options, bunch of fancy features, bunch of numbers you're going to be having to input, but I'm going to walk you through that step by step so you won't have to worry about it at all. Now it's also worth noting that they have documentation on creating email accounts. It can be accessed by just clicking this button right here. Now from there, essentially, it's just going to give you a bunch of information on how to create it, how to hook it up, how to sync it. So that's a good thing to note is that Bluehost is really good at providing information for the people who want to use their hosting plan. Like the amount of tips they give is just so user friendly and it really has a nice and clean feel to it. From here though, we're going to go ahead and create our new email account. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit create. Now from here, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty simple. We just have a few things we need to enter, but then we're going to have our custom email for our custom website. So the first thing is we're just going to have our username. So I'm just going to call it sample. It's actually really nice about these custom email addresses. Let's say your name is John and you wanted an email john at gmail.com. The problem is because there are so many people named John, only one person can have that email. But when you have John at yourwebsite.com, no one else has access to that because it's your website specific. It's customized for only your website. So you will be able to get a very, very customized and guaranteed to be customized email address for yourself and for your business. It's always annoying when you're trying to set up an email and it doesn't let you because the name's already taken. But with these custom Bluehost email accounts, you don't have that problem. Problem. You can just set it up with any name you want. So continuing on, now what we have to do is we're just going to enter our password here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my password in. You don't need to see it, but there is my password and you'll be able to put your password in as well. From here, we can select the amount of storage space you want. 
Now, in case you don't know what the store space is, it's essentially how much space your email account can use to store emails on your entire hosting plan. So let's say you bought a hosting plan with 10 gigs of storage, then maybe you would only want to allocate one of those gigabytes to your email plan. I'm just gonna leave it at default for now though, and we're just gonna continue on. Now you don't have to worry about any of these other features. So all we're just gonna do now is we're just gonna hit create. As you can see, this is super simple. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit manage on our new email account that we set up. Now, as you can see, we're managing the email account. So what we can do is we can actually connect devices to this email account. As you can see, it's got a lot of auto configuration options for any different thing, for any different mail client you're going to be using. So let's say you have Mozilla Thunderbird or you have mail for Windows 10. You would just click one of these icons and follow it through on all the instructions. Or if there isn't an auto configuration script for your client and you want to do it custom, you want to do it walkthrough custom, you can just go to the mail client manual settings and it's got all of these secure SSL settings. So as you can see, when you're running through any specific mail client, it's just going to have you input all this data to hook it up to connect it to this email. And then you will be able to access your email through that mail client. I'm just going to give you a little example of how we would do this, of how we would run it through. So let's say I have Mozilla Thunderbird. I'm just going to click auto config there. And as you can see, it just gives me a little instructions. So essentially the mail application Mozilla Thunderbird can automatically detect this email's account settings. So what you're going to do then is you're just going to click set up a new email account in Mozilla Thunderbird. And when it prompts you for the email address, you would enter this text right here. They make it super simple. And then you would obviously put in your password and the auto configuration would set up your email automatically for you. Now, another nice thing with Bluehost is if you do have a problem setting up your custom mail client, you can always just contact their customer support because they provide really good customer support. Anyways, just to recap, it's actually really super simple to set up an email account on Bluehost.com. As you can see, we just went through the process and then all of that remains is just to hook it up to your client, which Bluehost actually provides a slew of automatic options to help you do that. Well, thank you so much for listening. Now, if you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description where you can access more detailed information about this and receive special discounts. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.